I had to uh, drop it off at the service center because I wasn't about to send a $3,500 camera for the mail. And I expect to get it back anytime soon. That's all. We are. Here we go. Show you no card and camera. It's got C log pretty much already on. I forgot this thing is touch screen. So they must have tested C log. Um, picture style is off. Um, they've got the recording at 1080p and Canon Log settings right here. So Canon Log is on, View Assist is on, so that you can see it in a different format. Then they did strength, uh, it's all the way down, saturation is in the middle, and so is hue. So basically, uh, with the Record Assist, everything looks like that, but if I turn the Record Assist, the View Assist off, and look at LUT, it's a very flat picture profile basically that I've got so um, welcome to C log it works now I'm gonna use it when I use it see you guys later you make me. it's nice that they at least give you an instruction manual but it's like in pieces of paper that are just <laughs> how to set up the settings and whatever adjust the kind of log movie characteristics stuff like that so okay see you guys later bye bye here we go I uploaded some footage from C log and V log using the Panasonic GH5 and the 5D Mark IV I also uploaded some footage that I took with Technicolor CineStyle on the 5D Mark IV as well so I can compare the differences between each of those profiles. Now CineStyle is simply a color profile. It's actually not a log type of you know, setting that actually uses the sensor to capture as much dynamic range as possible. But the log profiles on both the Canon and the Panasonic actually do enhance the dynamic range of the sensor and go from there to be able to get a little bit more room and we're gonna see exactly how that affects footage now I've got two sets of footage here this is um, footage that I recorded in somewhat of a darker setting now all the angles are recorded from the same angle but a darker setting and then a slightly brighter setting um, I had ISO levels at uh, 1600 on each of the cameras in the darker setting and then 3200 in the brighter settings so let's look at uh, these these uh, these shots first. So this is the Canon 5D Mark IV using CineStyle before installing C-Log. Now what's important is that although you've got a pretty flat looking footage here you want to see actually what you get from uh, the Lumetri scope to see if anything's blown out or how much dynamic range you actually capture. As you can see there are no black levels. I mean this is somewhat of a bright setting anyway. I pointed the camera towards a window that was set right here and then also had this bag to see how much color information we can capture and what's lost and of course there's some reflection here as well to see if that actually stayed or was lost in the recording so again this is cine style on the Canon and looking at the Lumetri scope I can tell that a lot of the window was blown out and you've got actually some highlights here that are blown out which is probably that part of the picture but everything else is uh, captured pretty well, and uh, you still see a lot of detail. No, no blacks are crushed, but as you can see, this window not only blew out this scene, but also there's a wall here that's somewhat blown out and some paper on this bag that was also blown out. And you can see it right here, too, that all of those highlights were just completely blown out. Now let's go to that same shot using the C-Log to see if you capture any more of that with the 5D Mark IV once recorded. And you, you kind of do. Uh, 
everything looks a bit darker and actually comes down on the scale a little bit lower um, but everything seems to be mostly balanced except for what was blown out on the window so this window all of these highlights are blown out but now you can see the detail in the walls they're not blown out as you can see right here and some of this paper actually comes back into scope uh, which you weren't able to see before so that in itself tells you that uh, you're able to capture a little bit more information it actually looks like quite a bit more information through using C log versus the um, Technicolor Cine style now moving over to the Panasonic and Panasonic's pretty different what you can see here is that everything stays in a much tighter color space um, the window's still blown out but it doesn't go to the top it actually maxes out at this level right here on the Panasonic so um, again still considered blown out despite the fact that it's all flat here it's you, you won't be able to recover those highlights and everything this whole profile it's a lot more even so it's a lot more flat um, when using V-Log when it compared to C-Log um, now going over to the actual brighter footage we'll just take a quick look before moving on and this is the cine style profile it with settings at 3200 ISO and of course everything blown out at the top like you see here everything's much brighter uh, C-Log again much brighter but you do have some detail that you retain from that wall you can barely see here but as you can see from the metroscope you do have that information that's recoverable um, when of course color correcting which is good you know you're still an, under a brighter setting you're still able to recover a lot of the details and it's not all blown out and then when you go to the um, vlog you of course still have a lot of blown out highlights from the window and it's it's you could see wall detail it's a little bit there but on against the edge it's still blown out a little bit unfortunately but everything else it seems to have captured that color information these highlights that are actually on the bag still retain their detail from the, the bag which you were able to get from C-Log as well you know that that bag information that these sections right here were still kept but when you look at uh, cine style all of that is, for the most part was blown out now after some quick color correction that I wanted to use to kind of match the colors and see what I can get and what information I can recover this is what I've got cine style brings in a lot of bright colors but of course since a lot of it was blown out it's it's you really can't recover information in the walls or anything else there um, C log you know I, the, the way I set it up you can still see the details in the bags right here uh, you still have some information in the wall but you can barely see it off of my screen um, and then vlog of course everything's a lot was a lot more flat so I just spread it out a little bit more and recovered a lot of that color um, in the darker settings again cine style somewhat blown out bright colors though um, that I pulled back in uh, C log you, you retain some more of that information than than cine style of course see cine style was spread out that much but then in C log it was not spread out as much and you you know were able to get get some information and, and still have a pretty nice setting and then of course V log it uh, was similar to C log you got some more much more grain here when you're ha using ISO 3200 on the uh, Panasonic GH5 unfortunately which is, is distasteful I'm not sure if you can see it from there but um, only the window was really blown out everything else especially the way I filled the frame the detail it captured it without crushing any of the blacks and only the, the, the windows lights was uh, blown out so uh, that's what I see in the difference the main difference that I found from C log and V log is the fact that uh, C log still seems to spread out the details and this is by default settings I didn't change any settings on V log or C log so of course if you tweak the adjustments then you could probably get a different uh, you know different levels on the metric but 
for the most part default settings you've got a much flatter profile on vlog where c log colors are a little bit more spread out but that might be a benefit when it comes to the fact that c log is recorded on the 5d mark IV at max settings 4k 8-bit 422 whereas with a panasonic you get 10-bit color um, 422 so that's a huge advantage of the panasonic but uh let me know what you guys think and uh if you think c-log's worth it um just curious to see what you you know you think i, I actually am glad that i've got c-log on the canon because it does let me capture that little bit more of dynamic range, which is what you saw off of my shots when compared to CineStyle, which, although it's pretty flat, still tends to blow out um, highlights. Um, and as always, like, share, follow me on Twitter at Magnus547. And as always, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. See you guys later.